morning. Good morning. How are we? Was it last at night for you now? Oh, is it? Yeah. Wish you my life away. The cold board just plays complaints. The cold board is something standard today. I will be emailing the cold board. And your officer in charge of you. Alright. Can you please step back? You're right in my space. There's a camera on here. Is it coming? Mando, time is it coming? When I when I approach you, it's you were sat down, you stood up in my space. So let's just calm down and speak well, nicely, in my shall space we? I'm not, I'm not going to speak in space. All I can ask you about was what, what went on this morning with the staff and the chemist. I had a witness. Obviously. The three walked out. I'm a two witness. It's a no. on camera. What Sorry. had happened is... I just want to understand. I speak to all people. I don't... What just, happened no, is... Hold on, excuse me. I'm explaining to you that I speak to all parties, I don't take one person's word. Okay, so I'm kind enough to listen to you. I'm kind enough to listen to you. So let's both 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 ways. I've spoken. I've spoken. Okay, what's yours? I have a disability, so I have a disability. Now, she came out here, I was talking to a man right here, mining language. She started talking to me. When I'm doing this, this one is talking to the other. Yeah, that's fair play, yeah. See where the sign is? She started using vilification and intolerance behaviour saying my sign is blocking their sign. Okay, this is a public footpath under the local government act. This is part of the road. Yep. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Cold water about. Now, what had happened is, is because she knew she could not stand over me because I had a witness and tell me I was doing something wrong, which I wasn't, she went back inside. Okay. Okay, a guy in a white shirt came out here. Yeah. And another guy was here, and another guy standing here as well. And I've spoken with Priceline Pharmacy. Yeah. Head office. Yeah. Talk about complication. She stepped across the road there, Nita or whatever name is, and started taking photos. Why aren't speaking to the head office? Why? Okay. So why is that a problem when you're filming everything else is going on? You're not listening to me. Spoken to head office. The head office says to me, basically, we don't follow this because we're speaking to Melbourne. Yeah. Okay? So basically, I've done nothing wrong. Wasting police resources, wasting police time. And as far as I'm concerned, I wrote a brief to the police minister, the Minister of Tourism, the public board, and the other guys, along with the videos, which I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload them. And I'm going to ask the people of this country, Okay. Why are we wasting so much time? Why are we wasting so much time? And why are we causing such a fuss when nothing has been done? So as far as what we were in terms of what they've asked for you, it's just that you move your sign away from the sign so that it's not actually... You know what? That is not a police matter. It is not a civil matter. And at the end of the day, the police do not, and the coal board will say to you, Okay, no, the coal board is part of police complaints. As far as I'm concerned, my conversation with you has ended. Because I have not broken no criminal code, I've not broken any criminal code. If you, if you, if you wish to take this matter, the local government do so. But I have not broken any laws. Last Thursday when I was here, I was across here. It's raining. Okay? There are cameras there. I'm also concerned with a criminal matter and all the cameras. And you'll find it's so for a chance. I have a disability. So do I. I have a disability. Okay? Under the Disability Act, adding stuff to the Disability Act, the Disability Act, as Nicole Ford said, the sergeant and the woman that I spoke to, Coburn, or Coburn, they were asking you, was that you just not your job to do that. Constable so Pitt, it is not your job to enforce civil issues. It is not your job. Hold on. It is not, it is a civil matter, it is not a criminal matter. You are playing with civil fire. I will make, I will make, okay, I need to get hold of your head office and I'll speak to the whole of the phone and the will tell you. Then there will be an investigation and I'll say, right. That is absolutely fine, you can investigate me has Mr. Bowen come to the talk to you, that's all. Well, I've done nothing wrong. Well, we're not well, saying you've done anything wrong. If I've done nothing wrong, then what do you want to talk Firstly, about? Firstly, you have attacked us from saying hello. I haven't attacked you, that is your assumption. Well, I have a disability under the Disability Act. Leave it, leave it. Under the Disability Act. Because he's playing into his no. Okay. so just leave it. Oh, I'm just here right. as a peaceful okay, person. Okay, come in, come in. 
we've, we've come to have a friendly chat with you. You're the one that doesn't want to chat with Excuse us. Excuse me, for the camera, for the camera, us. I have a disability and my disability is being used against me. My outward appearance is being used against me. My federal, by federal law, my abilities as my disability is being used against me. Am I being aggressive? No, I'm not. Do you, do you want to phone Nicole so that I can speak to her? Or are you happy to get this conversation over and we say goodbye and have a good day? Yeah, have a good day. Do you want me to speak to the no, no, I'll talk to Nicole. Well, do you want me to? Because it's only fair we both of you, I guess. She'll talk to you when she needs to. Okay. Well, okay. At the end of the day, we just can't say hi. Yeah, you obviously don't want to say hi. So. No, I don't have a problem. At the end of the day, my problem is I've done nothing wrong. What annoys me, this is what John Collins' initiative will do. Okay, when someone rings up and makes a complaint, okay, when someone rings up and makes a complaint, I don't have an issue with that. But it's also your job to advise people when they make positive mistakes. I'm not saying you can hate, I'm just going to be looking at this. It's going to be dangerous, mate. I'll let the staff know. When you talk about protecting the public and protecting people, okay, it's also advisable for the same as calling hands and hands to say the same thing. If Christline has made a possible point to the police to get you guys to come out here, okay? into why you, you guys were brought out here in the first place, why you were doing that. I've been a social justice advocate for more than 21 years. I'm from the eastern states, not from western Australia. I lived in the I was born in Sydney, but western Australia. I'm aware of how many the long have you been in WA or how much you've been involved in federal law and state law. But at the end of the day, all I know is, is that the service paradise college, they made me very well. I could walk in there right now and say, oh, how much time? I had a guy who turned his camera in here, and I went up to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the side of the room, and then I went to the things that waste boys time and resources. And you know what? There should be a little bit of 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 a but we have spoken to staff in there, and we have explained quite a lot to staff in there, which you don't know what we've said, so don't preempt what we might have said to them, what we might not have about what you're doing out here. We're well aware of legislation, what you can and can't do. We're perfectly happy. We've got no complaints. If we, did, if, we had, if we had a legitimate complaint and believe we have action to take, we would do it. But we haven't. We've come to say hello. That's all, Cameron. Trust me, my job, or a big part of my job at this time, is actually walking around down here, speaking to the shopkeepers, speaking to the members of the public on the smart street in this area. I've been doing it for the last three or four months now. So every time I come down here, Cameron, trust me, I will say hi, and I hope we can you know, chat the next time. You know, the shop owner down here, and I emailed all down here, the What shop do you make? He the bell, I must admit. He's, um, he's a good one. Yeah. He's the one that you had the issue. He's the one that you had the issue. Because I just did. See how you got all that stuff out of the, uh, the shop owner yeah. there? That's too far out. Well, if someone was out there, like I'm out here all the time, that would be a good story. But see, it's a matter of enforcing. I'm saying. But, but can we come in? Yeah. Can we agree that we come to say hi? Yeah. And I'll be here tomorrow, and I'll probably be here Friday. I'm not here. I'm only here. You're on, on the Thursdays, isn't it? Okay. Well, next Thursday, if I'm around and you're around, yeah, I will be. Right. You can't. No, you will be saying. Um, just, um, I will be saying hi. Okay, yeah. yeah. Now, if every time I say hi, you're okay. going to start throwing names no, 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 at me and legislation no, 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 at me. It's going to become quite boring. If not, maybe we can chat and get to know each other. You're good. What I'm saying. I had a guy here, he's got several businesses in there, but he's been in here as well as we go, and they do have cameras. She's come out here, and they're going to have a go at that.
I've done no broken no walls. Look, at the end of the day, you stand over there, you can see the lock, you can see the signs. No one's blocking anything. And this guy standing here, he just turned around and said to her, he's got nothing to be complaining about. What are you doing? You know, you're actually harassing me. Look, I can see what you're doing. And it's wrong. And, I think, and um, she lost her argument because not only her, he was standing there, and I've already said this to the whole I've already said this. A lot of people, I don't ask them why, but a lot of people somewhat talk around him and there's a couple like that. And I had another guy standing here, and I had my back on the and he's come close to what's going on. He's been seeing this going on. And then, not only did he that off, but another guy walked out here and a white thing with him. Started talking. And I'm not really part of the conversation because he wasn't getting angry with me. So, I think, um, the other two that were having the conversation, and I think at the end of the day, what, what, what it is is that, what it is is that businesses have to realise that what, anything that happens in the society is that is stealing, theft, violence, aggression, whatever, that's fair enough. But if there's nothing really going physically happening outside like this, you know, in the suburbs, well, they should, because A, it's happening outside their premise where they have a control but over it. B, it could be endangering their staff that are inside, etc. So, I know what you're saying, but that's not strictly right. It's called assessment. Right. So, it's once, not you assess, right. once you assess the issue, you're making a separate decision. Okay. Is it, is it like a stealing right. right. Okay. Is it like Okay, listen, we, we've got a chat. Okay. I hope next time we have a chat we can talk rather than speaking at each other maybe is it Yeah? And um, I'll see you next Thursday. I'll say we'll say hi and go to this. I was hit by a close car on a 10 years late and now the rest of the stuff. Yeah. And I'm a social justice advocate. Um what what I'm saying is the problem with Western Australia is you guys are so far away from Eastern States you think the law doesn't apply by advising. But actually, by rights, a lot of the law in the United States is just by rights. It's just people that So, I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, the local government person I was speaking to, I said, there you go, you just made something. The footpaths and the local government act off to the road, off to the... No, 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 I'm just talking to you. After all this, we just come to say hi. Okay? End off. I'm no threat. Uh, mate, I never said you was. But trust me, if, if there were a couple sat there playing a guitar, I would go and say hi to them. If there were a couple sat down the high street and I walked by, I would say good morning to them or good afternoon. It's what my job is. Yeah? yeah to speak right. to people. It's that's what that I'm doing, mate. It's good that you've got look, good community questions. But you've got to understand that you've you come out. I know you went in the price line. And when you were also been all the way down before. And when you went in when you went to the price when you went in the price line, when you went to the price line I spoke to you many times. Um, because at the end of the day I I I agree there should be more people in the I'm not aware of that. But it's the way that you're demoting the way you do that. Is good. We get calls from a lot of the business premises down here. It might be to do with this, it could be to do with that. It could be to do with some old boy who always throws his cock up around that tree and leaves it for an hour and it sits there doing what you shouldn't do outside their shop. Yeah, I get caught. Cool. My job is to go and speak to that person and appease them and maybe advise them this is a shy or a shoot. I see the gentleman I speak to. It's what we do, mate. You know? And that's what we've done here. I've got three more people to go and visit. Okay? So don't don't think you're getting special treatment, no, mate. No, that's no. all. Trust me. And if you're around next Thursday, I'll just come and say it's hi. It's not, not about that. It's just that you don't know my past, you don't know my history. So like you don't know mine either. Well, it doesn't matter. You're an employee too. When you're what you no, it does because, because you're no, because you're judging me the same as a lot of other police no. you've met, where I'm totally different. It's not from my, an individual it's as well. not my fault. The point is, other police officers made it bad as you is such a good police officer. No. I don't judge whether I'm a good police officer or not. That's for others to do. But this is the way I work. And I'd say, Thursday, I'll go I'm aware of police procedures. I'm aware of police policies. I'm aware of how police are supposed to be made. I'm not going to go into that. But at the end of the day, I'm quite aware of my job and how your job is. At the end of the day, 
um, you know, if, if you're friendly or friendly. But you've got to understand in these circumstances there was something going on that was going on. And you are lucky that you are lucky that the witness that the thing you have to understand as well though, the thing you have to understand is we get phone calls and we go visit people and this is what they have to say. The same as if I leave here now and you phone the police, or if we meet you come back with you camera, you camera and go, So what happened mate, what did they do? That's the way it works. I think the whole thing very clear that how it operates. Well, you've got my details. Yeah. You've seen a couple of cancer sleep and stuff. Yeah. And when you speak to Nicole, please give her my details, I'll have to speak to her as well. As I said to Nicole, I don't have a problem with your friendly answer. Anyway, what I mean by that terminology is, you know, I, I'm aware of it. Look, I'm a social justice advocate, being one of the more than one You know, I know how hard your, your job might be, but at the end of the day, um, no, no insult. But if I was to put you in a service car, I wouldn't be able to handle it. And I've been in service car, and the boys told me how well in such car was not running. But the simple fact is, Queensland and Vice and I have a different relationship all together. Most of the time, they'll say hello, but they won't hold me. That's what we tend to do in India. But you've got to understand that, what does that just occur? Well, okay. I'll, I'll agree with that to a degree, but anyway, listen, we've got other people to go and see, mate. Yep. All the best, and like I say, if you're around, we'll look, I will, I will say I will bye, mate. The yeah. I will the I will I'm sure you will, mate. I've got no doubt about that. I'm just saying, next Thursday at five, I will say hi, and if you're not busy talking to people, I'll probably go to the army. That's the way I will. Look, I okay. absolutely glad in those clothes when I went to the South Wales, and I was their behaviour And I actually went to court with a shop owner. The shop owner lost. Because if the shop owner was told, look, do we get the law and you're not, you're not government. He's got a right as much as what you have for well, running the business. Hopefully, when you leave ANCRA, WA, whatever the case, hopefully you'll leave with a, a good impression of us. After well, actually, quite, quite frankly, I don't see an issue. I can hardly see you guys at all, which is good. Which is good. I hardly, you know. You seem to happy already. Look, look in Queensland, happy already. in Queensland police, on their, on their computers, you put my registration in the car, get them to come up, approach them. And you know what else they come up? Don't approach you, don't have anything to do with them, they're leaving the line. Do you know why it was that way? Because most of the time, a lot of the police officers are leaving the line. And usually I'd be here at the station looking for the inspectors. I mean, look, people can be friendly, fair enough. I had some police officers with you, but at the end of the day, they're not all friendly. But this is WA, this is not Queensland Police, this is not the South Wales Police, this is not Victoria Oh well, there's a lot, there's a lot of bad apples in Victoria, there's a lot of bad apples in New South Wales. Alrighty, right. listen mate, we're going to get going, because we're on the timeline yeah. as well. Take it easy buddy, alright? Yeah, well, and look, I, my intentions are not for our people. You know, that's not my thing, they don't just have to do it. You know, these, these things are more important. But what I'm trying to say is those things are more important. I would always say goodbye and hello to the other side. Good job.
sure anyone knew what I was doing. Oh. So I had to let everybody know. Um, the only reason I know the call is because of how it's measured on the phone. Mm. So the Disability Act, can you stop a Disability Act and the Disability Action Plan? If you understand the Disability Action Plan and apply it, it'll actually apply to everybody. So it makes your job a lot easier because you understand the Disability Action Plan. Well, Nicole knows all about that. Nicole thought. So what I'm saying is, it just makes it a lot easier. It's, look, the Disability Action Plan, if you put that in, in one department, and everyone was following it, they would have a better, better department. The problem is that this is the action plan is actually failing. And what, what, the reason I talked to the whole board is because I had a sergeant and I had another one that takes the phone up. And you can't do that. You just can't. So, so why don't you do something? No, no, no. It's just that's the day that I chose to be here. I'm only here for about one of them anyway. So, you know. Um, but look, I've got a situation at the moment where my wife's known a woman, Leslie, for uh, thinking she's in a hospital at the moment. And I said to her, I said, what's her name? And she was going to have to go up and say, you know, the domestic violence is he's telling her who she's the best friend. So he said, you can't have any of the camera in there, my wife. And then because she had the phone up in the hospital, she flew up there in that car. And I'm going, I said, I'm oh, a But she's, she's had it, she's a six or something. So, but she texted me on the phone. 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 The only time you guys get involved is someone gets married. But, and I don't know whether you saw, I don't know whether you saw on Channel 7 last night. The, um, the, 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 um, the burning plant. Burning plant. Talking about what we're burning. So, how's it going to be condemned? Can I have a special Oh, look, look, I was a, I was a bit too strange, so sometimes I would be going to get all but I'd still do it. Just never know what they can bring on the boat. That's right. Just don't know what the day's going to bring. I mean, I don't care what the map will be. I'm still doing it. Yeah, no, I'm just going to say, right? Oh, that's fair enough. I've got an interesting yeah. question. Well, I, had, right? I yeah. had these rail spot boys that used to train station. I would be able to get them out of here. And they sort of stupid. And they sort So, you know, so I, I just wish people were going to be comfortable. We're well, not following it. We're 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 not following it. I was a little bit disappointed, Cameron, maybe that you were judging the police as the same rather than going, I'll see what these two are like, I'll give them a minute first, and you didn't even do that. You didn't give them just the benefit of the doubt, mate. Look, look, at the end of the day, uh, I think you should have done Can you put in your post?